Hey, what's up, everybody? Mike Lindsley back with you. Nine minutes with me, IGTV, YouTube, Facebook. We are here again at Rosie's Corner. I walked in and the place smelled amazing. They've got their fish Friday going on with the mac and cheese or the coleslaw tonight. Uh, they also have pork earlier in the week. They have chicken and biscuits early in the week. And don't forget this Sunday. You got to order from here, Rosie's Corner. You get the ML Sports Platter Special. $40 gets you a large one-topping pizza, 24 wings, a two-liter of soda, and a large chef salad. You just can't beat that deal. Feed your family, feed your friends during both the games. We're supposed to get some weather as well, so who the hell wants to cook? Get it from Rosie's. If you're in and around Central New York, order from Rosie's Corner, just off the Bartell Road exit, up Route 11. I uh, turn right at the light, very simple to get to. And uh, they've got an array of awesome food, hot and cold subs as well. They've got some Italian dishes, so it goes beyond the pizza wing thing as well. And again, a quick reminder for Fish Fridays here weekly, every single Friday. All right, look. These games are going to be, I think, on paper, they're, they're, they're set up to be epic. I don't think there's any other way to say it. And, you know, we all try to dive in and break it down a million ways to Sunday, but I wanted to focus in on this video in terms of the key players for each team. Um, and I'll start in the first game with the Saints and the Rams. Uh, the Rams, the visiting team, into the Superdome. Very difficult home field advantage uh, to try and go and travel to. I think the key player for the L.A. Rams is going to be Aaron Donald. And by the way, I'm picking a key player that goes both ways. In other words, it's a key for that team and it's a key for the other team to at least contain and neutralize that player. Aaron Donald's an unbelievable locomotive. I mean, this guy is unstoppable. He's easily one of the best defensive players I've ever seen in my entire life. You can put double teams on this guy. You can try to trap him. You can try to zone block him. You can try to do anything you want. Doesn't matter. Aaron Donald is going to push through the pocket, and he is going to bother the quarterback, and he's going to bother uh, the running backs as well. So I think it's Aaron Donald. He's a complete difference maker. He's in the category of Mike Singletary, Lawrence Taylor, Ronnie Lott, Ray Lewis, J.J. Watt, Ray Nitschke, Dick Buckus. He's in that category. Why? Because you have to game plan the whole thing against him. That's why. When you have to game plan against one guy, it's incredibly difficult. It's kind of like the NBA and trying to game plan around Steph Curry, trying to shut him down and all the rest. It's impossible. And so Aaron Donald, absolutely positively for me, is the key Ram. My key Saint player is actually going to be Alvin Kamara, the terrific running back. He's a two-way type running back out of the backfield for New Orleans. This is a guy who can run the football east, west, north, south, and he's a terrific receiver out of the backfield as well. He's a super dangerous player for this uh, for this uh, Saint team uh, and, and a, a very difficult guy for the Rams to stop. I think if Kamara can kind of get going and and uh, and set the tone and balance is, of course, incredibly important. John McMullen, the National NFL Insider, joined my podcast before I recorded this, and he had mentioned how balance is going to be big in these games as well. So, um, you know, I think Kamara leads the charge there in terms of the word balance for uh, this New Orleans team. Uh, in addition to uh, uh, Kamara, not it, not only can he catch it, not only can he run it and all that, you can kind of put him, you can scheme him along and kind of use him as a decoy, do a lot of things with that guy. He helps keep the defense offset, and so that's one thing that I am looking for in this game. So I'll take Aaron Donald for the Rams. I'll take Alvin Kamara for the Saints. In terms of the AFC title game, uh, I I as far as the, the Patriots side, uh, I, I got to say, uh, I think it's actually going to be Sony Michelle. I, I think he's the key player for New England. Remember, every team except the L.A. Chargers last weekend during the divisional round playoff uh, games, they were the only ones that really couldn't run the ball. Melvin Gordon couldn't get going. Everybody else ran the ball well. Gurley and, and C.J. Anderson with the Rams. Kamara ran it for the Saints. You had Sony Michelle for the New England Patriots. You had the Chiefs with Damian Williams. You had all these guys uh, who were running the hell out of the football. Meanwhile, the Chargers could not. And you know what, Bill Belichick, I mean, the Chargers, they bring, what, all these DBs, all these secondary guys up, and what does he do? Screw you, I'm going to send a, a fullback slash running back type and run it down your damn throat. Well, guess what? It's exactly what happened. I think Michelle will be used in spots for New England, again, to try and bring balance to the offense. And as far as the Chiefs go, for me, it's Justin Houston. I think he's the key player and, and I say that because we know that there's one way 
uh, and, and really it starts and ends with this. It's not the only way, but it is the main way to beat the New England Patriots. You've got to get to Tom Brady. I mean, that's all there is to it. You have to get to him at some point. The Eagles last year in the Super Bowl, they made the huge defensive play, Brandon Graham and company. They closed that pocket and forced the ball out of Brady's hands on that sack. The defense made that last play. Think about the two losses that the New England Patriots had close in the Super Bowl, both to the New York Giants outside of the Philly uh, loss. They have three losses in the Super Bowl. They have five wins in this uh, era with Belichick and Brady. It's all come down to defense for the most part. Yes, Eli Manning made some huge backdoor throws. David Tyree made a wild catch along the helmet and all the rest. But the reality is, the reality is, it starts and ends with getting to Tom Brady. Think about the amount of teams that have not been able to get to him in the AFC playoffs. The only team probably that's been able to get to him before the Super Bowl is the Baltimore Ravens. Steelers haven't done it. Colts haven't done it. Broncos didn't do it for the most part. This is a very difficult thing getting to Tom Brady for a couple of reasons. One, scheme and development and system. Josh McDaniels, Brady, Belichick, they all work on the same page. In addition to that. You have Tom Brady releasing the football super, super, super fast. And in addition to that, the other part is, is that you've got security blankets still there catching the football. And while I think Julian Edelman was a shell of himself this year, started the year off with a drug suspension and all the rest, he played pretty well against the Chargers. He came on at the end of the year as well. I think he's going to be a pain in the ass for the Chiefs on Sunday. So uh, I think Justin Houston got to get to Brady. You look at the situation, of course, with Sony Michelle running the football for New England, and then Elvin Kamara for the Saints uh, running it and catching it and all the rest. And then, of course, the Rams with one Aaron Donald on the defensive side. And by the way, one more note in this AFC title game, I am, I am honestly fascinated to see what Bill Belichick is going to do to try and slow down the Chiefs offense. Remember, historically, he's always done something to take away what you do best. He's always had a game plan. There, nobody in the history of the game has been better than him at devising something each week to stop you and take away your greatest strength. Remember in Super Bowl 25, it's a painful memory for me with Scott Norwood missing the kick, but the reality is Bill Belichick's defensive game plan as coordinator under Bill Parcells was the reason why they won that football game. They played a 2-9 gap. They put two guys up and rush and then drop nine in the middle and then back. And Jim Kelly could not sling the ball, you know, 10, 12 yards to Andre Reid, to Don Beebe, uh, throwing screen plays and all that were very limited. They just let Thurman Thomas run all over Hell's Half Acre, and then they slowed Jim Kelly down in terms of the 2-9 gap defensive coverage. I'm very intrigued to see what Belichick is going to do on Sunday. What game plan is he going to have? How many people is he going to rush? How much of a hand is he going to have in the defensive game plan? Is he going to put the linebackers up, or is he going to drop them back? Is he going to try to do something in the second? Secondary was Stephon Gilmore up against Tyree Kill. Is he going to bring an extra safety over? I am fascinated by what Belichick will do on Sunday. Mike Lindsley with you, nine minutes with me, IGTV, YouTube, and Facebook. We are here from Rosie's Corner. Make sure you order from here. You're in and around Central New York. Pizza, wings, hot and cold subs, you name it, fish Fridays, pork during the week, chicken and biscuits, and the ML Sports Platter Package for your NFL Conference Championship Sunday. It's a doozy. Nobody beats it. Large one-topping pizza, 24 wings, large chef salad, and a two-liter of soda. 40 bucks. What an unbelievable deal. Big time job by Jody Jason and the gang here at Rosie's Corner. I order from here at least once a week. I'm going to go grab something, obviously, on my way out as well. Uh, Rosie's Corner is the official pizza shop of the ML Sports Platter. Hit me on Twitter, at Mike L Sports. You can download my podcast as well, the ML Sports Platter on Spotify, Google Podcasts, and Apple Podcasts. Download and subscribe and make sure you rate it and leave some feedback. That stuff goes an awfully long way. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. Thanks to Rosie's Corner. As I always tell you, enjoy the games.